Greetings, Master Detective. The disappearance of George Pritchard eight days ago has caused an upheaval in the royal family. Not only is he a valuable employee, he is also a dear friend of mine. His last known location was Huxley's boarding house. George has always been interested in obscure historical places. Though they are never without peril, I fear for his safety. The task of finding him falls to you, Master Detective. Sincerely yours, the Queen. On, Sebastian, I can't start the van on my own. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time on that rattle trap of yours, Herr Benjamin. Hey, hey, you! Uh, can you lend me a hand? Get into the driver's seat. I'll push and give you instructions. If you can't hear me, just honk the horn. Push in the clutch. Just put something heavy on it. Quick! Whoa! Are you trying to kill us? Not yet! Whoa! Are you trying to kill us? Not yet! before the geospazer implodes. Quick, turn on the engine. The key should be around. Oh, yes, it's alive! And no one exploded. That's a win-win. Quick, turn on the engine. The key should be around. Listen, I have to tell you... Oh, whoops. It's dinner time. I have to run. And so, another soul wanders into Huxley's boarding house. I'm Mr. Herald, the landlord. Before you ask me anything, you must familiarize yourself with our house rules. They're strict, but they're effective. 
many of our guests, whimsical as they are, find themselves much changed by the rules. Our patrons are all experts in their chosen field. Surely I'd remember a royal photographer. Getting old. Mr. Pritchard was here. He checked in eight days ago. How irresponsible of him to leave such an important document. Honestly, I'm sick to death of people forgetting. This key opens the donation box at the Angel's feet. If Mr. Pritchard left anything else behind, that's where you'll find it. Uh, before I get back to work, there's something you should know. Mr. Pritchard did quarrel with another guest. I didn't want to interfere. Between you and me, the guest is a bit, uh, obsessed with the paranormal. If anything happened to Mr. Pritchard, he's your man. Now, uh, do excuse me. I will not allow I will not allow you to interrupt the common room is off I will not allow you to interrupt dinner but I will not I will not allow you to interrupt dinner before its end at 8 30. 